Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. A headline from the Daily Mail caught my attention. Easy looking equation sees people fight over the answer. Can you solve grade school math sum in 30 seconds? When I clicked on the article, I'll admit I was a little disappointed to see it was an order of operations question. What is 50 divided by 5 times 2 plus 10? I normally pass over these types of problems, but I was genuinely surprised when I read the comments section to see actual disagreement about what the correct answer was. I thought it was important to make a video to clarify this topic. Now regular viewers will have seen many videos on this topic, but I should mention that about 30 to 50% of views for these videos are new viewers. So if you're watching Mind Your Decisions for the first time, welcome to the channel. I make many videos about this topic because it keeps coming up. As part of my background, I also have a math degree from Stanford University. So what is the correct answer to this question? We can evaluate it using the order of operations, which is commonly referred to as PEMDAS. This refers to evaluating parentheses first, then exponents, multiplication and division, and finally addition and subtraction. It is also remembered by the acronym BODMUS, where parentheses has the corresponding brackets and exponents has the corresponding orders. We also have an important rule. If you have two operators of the same precedence, evaluate from left to right. In this expression, we do have a division and a multiplication. So do we perform the multiplication first or do we perform the division first? The rule is that if you have two operators of the same precedence, then evaluate them from left to right. So we should evaluate from the left. In this case, we will evaluate the division of 50 divided by 5 first. 50 divided by 5 is equal to 10. So let us substitute that into the expression. We now evaluate the multiplication 10 times 2. That is equal to 20. So we substitute that in. And finally, we just have one operation remaining, which is an addition. So we have 20 plus 10. And I think this is not controversial that this is equal to 30. So we have 50 divided by 5 times 2 plus 10 is equal to 30. And this is without a doubt the correct answer according to the modern interpretation of the order of operations. But if you were confused by how to evaluate this expression, you should know that you're in good company. The very topic of how to evaluate an inline expression is not a new topic. The American Mathematical Monthly, which was first published in 1894, had an article about the order of operations that was published all the way back in the year 1917. For over a hundred years, people have been thinking about how to evaluate the order of operations. And yes, this is a math topic that was published in the American Mathematical Monthly. In this article, the author explains, in case the signs of multiplication and division occur, the operators are to be performed in order from left to right. So we have an example. 8 divided by 2 times 4 is evaluated from left to right. So we have 8 divided by 2 first, then we multiply by 4 to get 16, and not the other way around where we group the multiplication of 2 by 4. A series of operations involving multiplication and division alone shall be performed in the order in which they occur from left to right. So this should settle matters and everybody should just agree. But I'm so glad I made these videos because finally a reader did show me proof that some people did learn another rule. Here is a textbook from 1969. When there are no symbols of grouping in an expression, it is understood that multiplication is performed first, division next, and addition or subtraction last. So in this example, we have 32 divided by 4 times 2, and the author is saying you should group 4 times 2 first to get to 8, so then you have 32 divided by 8, which equals 4, and you don't just go from left to right, which would be 32 divided by 4 times 2, which would be 8 times 2, which equals 16. So this is actual proof that some people may have learned a different rule. So what would the answer be if you followed this rule? 
you would want to do multiplication before division. So you would definitely group 5 times 2 and evaluate that to be 10. You would then do the division, 50 divided by 10, which would be equal to 5. And then you have 5 plus 10, which is equal to 15. So there were many people who said that 15 is the correct answer. And I would agree that if you do multiplication before division, this would evaluate to 15. So what are we supposed to do? Do we have an expression 50 divided by 5 times 2, where some people say that the answer is equal to 5, and other people say that the answer is equal to 20? But there is another way of looking at this question. We do live in a modern era of calculators and computers, so you might wonder what would happen if you input this expression into a calculator. Surely you would want to know what the result is. The calculator has an internal set of rules. It will parse the expression and generate a binary expression tree. So according to the modern interpretation of the order of operations, we go from left to right. So we have 50 divided by 5, and that will be one subtree. And we evaluate that, and then we multiply the result by 2. So we end up with the following binary expression tree. This tree will evaluate to 20. On the other hand, if you do the multiplication first, you would have 5 times 2 as a subtree. You would take that result, and then you do 50 divided by that result. And according to this expression tree, we would end up with the result of 5. So what do calculators actually do? Well, if we input this into Google, it definitely goes from left to right, and it will do the division first and give the answer of 20. The same is true of Wolfram Alpha. In fact, if you do this expression into pretty much any modern programming language like Python, JavaScript, Java, C Sharp, Excel, or most calculators, you're going to get the result of 20. So objectively, it seems there were two conventions, to do multiplication before division or to go from left to right. It would seem that going from left to right is the rule that has won out, and nearly all calculators and computer languages adopt this rule. So if we want to evaluate this expression in the modern interpretation of the order of operations, we would take multiplication and division from left to right. 50 divided by 5 would go first to be 10. We multiply that by 2 to get 20, and 20 plus 10 is equal to 30. And that is without a doubt the correct answer according to the modern interpretation of the order of operations. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.